the situation on a daily basis, and we decided that there was we couldn't afford to wait any further uh, because there are very, very worrying trends. Uh, the number of unlinked local cases in particular continues to rise, and they now make up nearly half of the total local cases you see every day. This suggests that there are very likely uh, undetected or hidden cases within our community. And it also means that we are likely to see more cases popping up. At today's level of infection, our hospital capacity is still able to cope with the cases that are coming in. But we do not want to wait for a situation where the cases rise and sharply and then we get overwhelmed. So we decided not to wait, but to make a decisive preemptive move now and put in place this major circuit breaker to try and break the chain of transmission. Uh, we are very mindful that these are painful, difficult measures that will bring about inconvenience and disruption to people's lives and livelihoods. Uh, we hope Singaporeans will understand why these are necessary to protect ourselves, our family members, and our fellow citizens. So it's absolutely critical that we take the measures seriously. Uh, we have seen over the past weeks, each time we made incremental moves and introduced new measures, uh, Singaporeans are responsible, we comply with them, but there will always be a group that tries to push the rules to its limits. So when we say no more than 10 people in order to reduce the size of social gatherings, people ask, is it okay if I add one more person? And just try and meet the rules, but still, as far as possible, I want to get together with my friends. Or when we say let's have safe distancing one meter apart at F&B outlets, you will still find places where people try to sit close together, even though um, we have clearly set out the guidelines, but they still want to eat in rather than uh, take out when the place is crowded. Or for that matter, when we recently introduced telecommuting, many have started. I think the telecommuting rates have improved, but you will still find employees and staff saying, my boss, my employer tells me I cannot telecommute, even though it's quite clear my work allows me to do so. So all of these uh, behaviours and habits are really counterproductive because we must assume that the virus is circulating within our own population. There will be undetected carriers amongst us. It could be any one of us. So each and every interaction we have with others may well be, be the link that causes the virus to spread and causes a new infection cluster. Uh, that's why uh, we are now doing this major circuit breaker this time round and making it very clear. The rules are simple and we hope everyone takes this seriously. Stay at home. There's no more rule of 10 or whatever number. Just stay at home. Avoid interactions with anyone outside of your family members living together with you in the same household. Beyond that, you can go out for essential things. If your work is essential, if you need to buy some food and groceries. But if you go out and you are unable to avoid close contact with others when you are out, then wear a mask. So these are simple rules and we hope everyone will abide by them. Uh, we are really in, as we have said repeatedly, for a long fight. Because even with these measures in place, we must expect the cases, the infected cases, to continue to rise. They will still be high for a while and they may even go up in the next few days. Because there is a lag each time we put in place a new measure. It will take time uh, before we see the benefits of the measures that are put in place. The latest set of measures will continue for at least a month. If we are all disciplined about the guidelines, 
uphold them, not just based on the guidelines, but uphold the spirit of what we are trying to do, then there is a chance by the end of the month, we can roll back some of these measures. And as I've said before, we are rolling back, not resetting back to zero, but rolling back still with some stringent precautions in place, but perhaps not as tight as what we are introducing today. But if the situation does not improve, if there is poor compliance, poor implementation, then we do have to be prepared for this set of measures to continue even beyond a month. Uh, so really, we are all in this together now. We are all enlisted in this fight against the virus. So let's hunker down and beat the virus together.